What's up, Maniacs? My name is Mex. I'm a wrestling fan, a wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac, if you will. And today, we are going to talk about FTR versus Young Bucks on AEW Dynamite. What a banger. Oh my God. Like, FTR are just having the greatest time right now. It's so good to see them back. As far as I'm concerned, these are the two greatest tag teams on God's green earth right now showing everybody how this tag team thing is supposed to be done and i just had to come and turn on the camera and give these guys their flowers so yeah i'm just going to talk about the match a bit talk about where things can go from now and i hope you guys enjoy it right here at wrestlemaniac uk i discuss everything that's wwe and aew so if this sounds like the place for you make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time i drop a new video Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into it. FTR versus Young Box 2. So like I said earlier, what a great seven days it has been for FTR. All of a sudden, they're serious again. They went to Ring of Honor Supercard. They beat the Briscoes in what is a match of the year contender to become the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions for the first time in their careers. Whilst they are holding the AAA Tag Team Championships, which now makes them Tag Champions of two promotions at the same time. Are they finished? Are they finished belt collecting? We're gonna come back to that one in just a sec. Young Bucks, FTR, these two are just incredible. Like every single time, they can just turn it on and it's literally turning it on like a light switch. Young Bucks have been doing next to nothing for a while now. I know they had a little thing with Red Dragon, you know, chasing who's the better tag team and trying to get into that match with Jurassic Express. Since then, they haven't really done anything. They've started picking fights with FTR, who have kind of turned face. FTR have kind of outgrown Tully Blanchard. They've kind of seen that the pinnacle isn't really doing anything for them. And it's like a light bulb went off for them too. Like, yeah, we are the best tag team in the world. What are we doing with all these other little silly gimmicks and distractions around us? And it's like now they want to kind of prove 2022, this is our year. We are as good as we say that we are. We are the best tag team in the world. In my opinion, my opinion, this was better than their full gear match. This was better than their full, it was different. It was different. That match was very good. Once in a lifetime, they kind of dubbed it as their love letter to tag team wrestling. We saw a lot of tributes to, you know, tag teams of old through different moves and all of that kind of stuff. It was a classic match, but that was during the pandemic. There was a very light crowd, maybe like a thousand people in attendance or something like that. And it was very kind of, yeah tribute to tag team wrestling rather than this is just a straight up fight sort of thing with a story behind it whereas this the crowd was absolutely buzzing for this match and yeah just everything they done just you know going at each other back and forth you know the little false finish where we had cash wheeler put his foot on the bottom rope and the first the ref counted it but then he withdrew his decision like just all these little bits and these guys just know how to put together such a good story their chemistry chemistry is off the charts when it comes to these two teams like it's just mad how good they are together like i said earlier triple a tag team champions ring of honor tag team champions i think now ftr are the number one ranked team in aew is it time for them to become the two-time aew tag team champions whilst holding the rest of these titles are they gonna have their own little belt collector gimmick right now i know jurassic express laid out the gauntlet to red dragon saying that yeah we're gonna challenge you let's have a tag team championship match this can go one of two ways to be completely honest jurassic express could retain and still go on to face ftr i know that's like two face teams against each other but that could still proved to be an excellent dynamic and put on a great great match red dragon could also beat jurassic express and just be transitional champions and ftr beat them later on down the line i think ftr versus red dragon is another match for the ages that everyone would absolutely love to see these guys missed each other in nxt ftr were already on the main roster when red dragon or undisputed era were in nxt so i think that's the match everyone would love to see do aew do transitional champions 
not really they kind of look after the belts very very well they don't want any of that especially the tag team one which is probably so close to the evp's hearts but this could be a chance to just do something different surprise fans and literally crown ftr the best tag team of 2022 because right now what i'm seeing there's nobody better there's nobody better i think you're gonna find it pretty tough to find a better main event on tv this year than what we have just seen between ftr and the young bucks it is still early it is still april but i think it's gonna be difficult i want to hear from you guys let me know what you thought of this match ftr versus young bucks 2 are ftr gonna go on to become aew tag team champions as well let me know your thoughts down below in the comments if you enjoyed today's video hit the like button and if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time i drop a new video wrestlemaniac uk signing out and i'll see you soon